The axle of a car is subjected to the forces and the couple shown. What are the principal stresses and the maximum shearing stress that point A is subjected to? This is the second example for the main video about the Moore Circle Review. So if you haven't watched that or the first example, the links to the videos are in this video's description. We know we'll use Moore Circle to find the principal stresses and the maximum shearing stress. And for that, we know that we need the stress state element. If we perform a cut just before A, we'd see that from a sum of moments about the cut, the internal moment at the cut would be 450 newton meters. And from a sum of torques, that the internal torque is 350 newton meters. The reactions affecting A, the other side of the cut, would have the same values but an opposite direction. For a stress element A, where the left face is facing the axis of the shaft, we would see that the torque is causing a torsional shearing stress and the bending moment a compressive normal stress. Notice that I'm using the absolute value because I already identified that the stress is compressive. If I assume the stress to be positive and keep the negative sign from the my over i equation, we would end up with the same values. The shearing stress is therefore 54.4 megapascals and the compressive normal stress would be 140 megapascals. Having the stress element and the stress values, we can find the center of the Moore circle and the radius of the circle. The principal stress on the right would be the center plus the radius, and the principal stress on the left would be the center minus the radius. We'll call these principal stresses sigma A and sigma B. Knowing where zero is and therefore the y-axis location, we can plot the original x and y locations. The maximum shearing stress would be 88.6 megapascals. For one more example on this topic, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.